Welcome back to Rimworld. Now, yesterday's episode, we did leave off on a character that I was going to carry on with, but a lot of you guys have basically said in regards to the character creation that uh, using the points limit added by the Prepare Carefully mod probably isn't such a bad idea, and I kind of agree, because otherwise we're going to end up with some real broken characters. Bear in mind that we are not going to be customizing their backstories or things as intended with Prepare Carefully, so we're still going to have a, a difficult character even with using that point limit. I'll try not to go too nuts with it, though. I think just having a baseline, you know, um, five construction, five social, at least on every character we play as, should definitely be something we do, otherwise we're really, really going to struggle. And having a character that's incapable of social as well is just basically a death sentence. But I've been reading through your comments, and they've been hugely th uh, helpful to the campaign, to be honest with you, so thank you very much for that. I saw one that basically said don't bother with any of the um, any of the plumbing stuff during the early game. Apparently, we can just use a latrine, which I didn't I didn't realize was actually an option there. So apparently, we could just use that, and then the waste we get, we can turn into fuel eventually, which does kind of make sense, I guess. I was kind of hoping we could turn it into fertilizer or something, but fuel also does work. Uh, another one said, and a lot of you actually point this out as well, that in the Dobbs Hygiene mod, we can turn on Thirst, which I think is awesome. That's definitely a, a big, big aspect of survival that I think Rimworld is missing. And I think, hopefully, if that plays into the whole contamination thing as well, that's going to be massive. I think that's going to be very, very cool. And, and like I said, I was kind of considering that other um, Water Equals Life mod or whatever the hell it's called. So this is huge. And I, thank you very much for that one, because that was like, yes, finally, we've got ourselves a Thirst mod, like realistic survival. So... Let's go ahead then, as you guys have suggested, and actually make ourselves that brand new character. Let's go for... People have been asking for Randy. Because apparently Randy makes the... Like, I went with Cassandra just because I thought Randy is more difficult. But people have been asking for it. I'm kind of happy to swap between storytellers each. Maybe each time we swap to a different storyteller as well, just to add to the different aspect of things. So go Randy Ruff. We will go Commitment Mode, as always. Let's randomize the seed. Ready? We're going to end on... Boom. Dice. That seems pretty appropriate, because this, this campaign is definitely a big old roll of the dice. The other cool thing about this campaign as well that I sort of noticed in between episodes is, because I can get feedback from you guys as well in the comments, which, by the way, uh, very useful, thank you for that. Um, it also means that when we die, if you guys have suggested more mods, which some people have, I can actually install them in between playthroughs. It's not like with the Crop Douche playthrough or with the, the Genetic Rim playthrough, where when we had a mod list, we had to stick to it, because obviously that was a very long-term thing. In this, if we die and have to restart, there's no reason we can't throw a few bunch of mods or tweak some mods, and hopefully between us all, working together, we can get a really, really cool, hardcore survival mod pack. So this is a, this is a community thing. Well done, team. I'm already liking the look of this area here. Um, it's on a road, right next to a river as well. Um, we're also next to uh, pirate base is kind of close there. Not that it matters, because the air just basically teleports to your base. They don't actually travel along the roads. But that'd be something cool in the future. If you got like a long-range scanner and can actually see NPCs traveling along the roads. That'd be awesome. It also might be in the game already. I really have no idea. Um, so we picked a lot of mountain maps. I think the mountain maps are just essential for defense, aren't they? So I'm, I, I don't think it's broke, so I'm going to stick with it. We've got mountainous boreal forest. I really planted boreal forest because that's kind of cold. 20 out of 60 days as well. I'd rather go somewhere a bit more south. Um, the issue is if we do that, there's very few mountains, isn't there? Okay. Um, we've got like areas around here. I think a river is also really, really essential. What about something like this? Temperate forest, 30 out of 60 days, so half the year growing times, April, May to September. That's also quite low. So you should read these smaller worlds as well, as obviously we're quite limited in our growing time. There's probably not even a 60 out of 60 growing time on this, is there? Nope, definitely not. What have we got, 20 out of 60, 10 out of 60? No, there's nowhere even close, so that is probably the best we're going to get. Um, I kind of wanted to go around here, but I worry that might annoy these guys. Yeah, well, minus 20 with Rimville, of course. Classic Rimville. Um, man, uh, we could try one without mountains and just go for river, I guess. I also kind of don't mind the coast either, so if we get, like, mountains coast, that, that could work. Um, what about this one? 30 days, 100 and, what, 1,666, uh, millimeters of rainfall. That's quite a fair amount. Western coast seems good. Slate and marble. I'm good with this. There's no caves here, and it's temperate forest, so we've got good temperature, minus 4 to 31 degrees. I'm in. Right, so, the way we're going to do this from now on, then, we're going to prepare carefully, we're going to load up Jilpvoosh, because of course we are. There he is. This is a, this is a questionable clone of Jilpvoosh as well. We're going to hit the random button, and then I'm just going to randomly stop on one. Boom. There we go. And we're going to go through traits exactly the same way. I need to, like, make a macro or something that just automatically randomizes, and stop. Depressive Night Owl. You know what? As long as we stay awake during night, that's basically going to cancel out depressive, so I'm fine with that. The old gun shot, I guess, is just part of the the, the clone of uh, Jilpvoosh at this... Oh, just Jilpvoosh. God damn it. That comment made me laugh as well yesterday. Someone pointed out all the times that I'd said Jilpvoosh or Kropvoosh instead of Jilpvondel. I'm never going to remember his name. So we've still got 1,400 points. We're not going to spend all those. Oh, point remaining minus... Oh, why? 
Oh, this guy's just a good character, huh? Because we've got that much mining. Can I take away some points out of mining? Not at all. Oh, shit. Wait. So we can't even play as this guy with the point limit. Well, that just won't work. Okay, well, we're going to have to random him a little more. What is causing that? Um, I honestly have no idea why the points are so strict all of a sudden, huh? Very strange. Okay, like, let's, let's re-random. I don't know why. I haven't messed around with the mod or anything like that. And clearly, I, I wouldn't have said that guy was too powerful. All right, keep rolling. Boom. Decent learner transhumanist is a lot better. That's minus a thousand. Well, we'll just, we'll just roll randomly. I don't know why this time around it's got a lot more strict. Very strange. Okay, so we've got five social. Seems pretty good. We've got no construction. Oh, my God. I said I'd do it. And seeing as we're already at the point, so we've got high mining, though. So, honestly, I'm going to take this guy. We're going to see how we go. We've got social this time around, which is great. Capable of nothing. At least I hope we were. I didn't think we were. Oh, God. Dire raids. Thank you for letting me know about the dire raids we've got coming up. That's fantastic. Appreciate that one. And, again, that's an example of a mod that I've installed in between saves here. So, uh, someone suggested to it to me on Discord. And I downloaded it, but forgot to actually enable it. So, it's pretty great. Okay, so let me just double check here. We are, yeah, incapable of none. That's good. He's got some very good stats, actually. Six medical is also very good. Decent learner is fantastic. So I actually don't mind that he's got a low construction. Cooking level of three is obviously bad. He's only got melee. No shooting at all. Oh, my God. He's going to be a good utility character. Good mining. Good medical, which are both obviously great. I think we're really, really, really going to suffer when it comes to combat, though. This time, we're going to have to play very, very safe and very, very carefully. So, we're going to do our usual trick of just quickly scouting. Oh, this looks good. This looks very good. Quickly scouting out the map. Oh, you know what? It's larger than I thought. Okay, fine. You know, I thought this was a little secluded pocket, but actually just a load of buildings. i kind of like to live near the coast, because I think that might give us uh, a little bit of, you know, extra defense. We know the enemy's war is going to come in from this side of the map, for example. All right, let's quickly scope everything out. Now, there is a river on this map, right? I did pick one of the river. Uh, oh, no, I didn't. I just picked coastal. It shouldn't matter, should it? Because we can still get groundwater. I believe the ocean can play into the hygiene mod as well. I think they can, like, wash themselves in the seawater, but obviously, I very much doubt they can drink it. We're looking for any sort of just pocket of land that we can hide into here. It's honestly not going too well. Um, oh, you know what? Hey, this might be okay. This area might be good. If this connects up around here, I'm going to go in this sort of area. Come on. That's it. That's perfect. Okay, so we've got this whole area to work with. We do need to scout this out as well, because this might only be a small little mountain side. Then we'll sit, stick down the base. Honestly, my, my personal vote is in this area. We've got what's that? One, two, three geezers. Fairly well defended as well. Oh, this looks good. I'm genuinely impressed with this. If this is all just thick mountains, I'm going to be going to be pretty over the moon with this spawn point. Right, let's take a look. We've got sort of... I don't know if this counts as fresh water. Again, I'm, I'm, I very much doubt it would, since it's like a, a little filthy pond. Oh my god, is this the only... If this is the only place they can get into the map, we have struck gold. Oh no, they can... Oh, they can't get across that. Oh, they can get across this. Okay, you know what though? That's not too bad. Hey, uh, why did you undraft? Excuse me, I, I, we're not finished yet, my dude. I know this has taken a lot of time, but I feel like it's fairly important to get a good scout out of the map so we know where their enemies can come from. This isn't bad though. I think that's a very, very cool little map we've got here. Um, we can build like a big embrasure across here and a big embrasure sort of across this area here. We're fairly well defended at that point. Okay, so knowing everything we know now, where do we want to start? I mean, if enemies do attack over here, if they spawn over attack, they've got to cross the river. This is all un impassable. Chest deep water. I thought that would add a bit of difficulty to it, but in hindsight now I realize it's actually quite a good defensive buff as well. Plus if it's chest deep, they'd probably go around here anyway. So they can get through on one tile. Whereas down here, they can obviously get through in quite a large area. I'm thinking kind of go... I don't know, in hindsight, sort of around maybe here. Look for geothermal vents as well. That's a that's a big reason why I wanted to go over here. You know, we all stick to this area. Build alongside the mountain, something like that. Now, I'm not seeing any ancient dangers, which is probably good news because I'd be way, way too tempted. Oh, that could be one there. Hmm, let's check that out. I'd be way too tempted to try and crack them, but we can always just move them over there and sort of see what it says. Nothing, okay. There are muffalo over here as well, so we'll have to club a couple of those. We've also got some of these horrid creatures. Nightlings, which kind of remind me of those creatures from uh, Fallout New Vegas. I can't remember what they're called. The sort of weird wolf rattlesnake things. Up by uh, up by Jacobstown. I don't remember anyway. I'm sure someone in the, in the comments will remind me. Alright, let's chop some wood and immediately get to work on this house. So, this time around, I know not to spend so much time on hygiene, because that really screwed us last time. Coolers. Just in case of heat wave, I guess really couldn't hurt. There's no reason not to be that cautious. Or at least get in a freezer earlier. That would help out as well. Because that way, if he suffers from heat stroke, we just put him in the freezer for a minute. Which is not how you treat heat stroke, by the way. That's actually a terrible idea. But, you know, for, for the game, just having any sort of cool area would be incredible. Okay, let's get all of these trees chopped down. I'm going to keep them away longer than necessary. Then while he's asleep, we'll, we'll sort jobs. Because that will give us plenty of time to do so. Should we just build a bed and he can just sleep outside? 
Just just focus a bit before we get up walls or anything else. Fine, you know what? That's that's okay with me. He's got crap construction, so this will probably fail. Oh my god. The madman, he's done it. Barely heard of construction. Well, that's what you want to hear when you're off on a planet surviving by yourself, huh? Right, let's get a couple more of these done. What's his mood like? Low on food. Um... Well, that's some berries. I, it, again, it's very risky early game because you could just get food poisoning or something, but I'm going to try it. Oh, there's a lot of berry bushes on this map, too. Got a lot of berry bushes, a couple little bits of wild heal root there. And I really love this triple geezer setup. If we if we get to that point of the game, that's going to be massive. Right, let's prioritize. No, 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 no. Come and get some food before you go to bed. Food, then sleep. Because that way, if you get sickness, you can, uh, you know, try and sleep it off a little bit. Drinking water. Oh, God. Okay, you can drink that. Is that fresh water? Did you just drink salt water? Jilp. What have I told you? Bad hygiene, moderate. Dehydration, trivial. Oh, God, the dehydration is... I guess another little bit of difficulty, but fine. You know what? I don't know what that was, but it sounds okay. We're fine. Nothing to worry about. Just sleep it. One with nature. Jilt Vondel. Okay, let's turn the speed down a little bit just while we set up his jobs here. So we want to probably go all of these maximum priority. Um, refuel. I might actually go for a wood fire generator. I said let's not do it last time, but for the early game, I mean, what's our return to build a windmill? I suppose we could. There's really no downside to that, is there? Doesn't require fueling. We're not going to be using much power during this early game, especially with just one colonist. Right, get rid of these. Butcher and cook needs to be a lot, lot higher. Let's get rid of all of this. Uh, decon deconstruct and construct as well. Oh, God, the hiccups are already kicked in. Help me, Jilp. Um, harvesting, growing is obviously quite high as well. I'm going to put mining to level 2, same as we did last time. Plant cook can be quite high tier. Let's get rid of all of these as well. Okay. There we go. Smelt, stone cut, crafting, loading, cremating, delivering. Don't really care about any of this. You know what? We'll put a point or two in hauling and uh, delivering. We don't need to if he's our only constructor. Cleaning, we'll put a point into just as if he's really got nothing else to do. But I can't imagine we're ever going to get to that point. All right. Luckily, I think we're past the point where we would have got food poisoning from those berries. Did that also give him... Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. Okay, Psychic Soothe from the male gender is, is an absolutely incredible start here. Ravenously hungry. We'll deal with that in a second. It's also naked. I guess making some quick fur out of, you know, maybe these muffalope that we kill. Muffalope? Is that what they're called? Oh, God. A nightling is hunting jilt for food. Are you serious? We've only just started. Uh, excuse me, my guy. I need you to wake up. Oh, Christ. Uh, fleeing. Yep, this is exactly how I saw this series going. Oh my god, really? Okay, um... How do we do this? I guess we just get the first swing and hope for the best? Oh, come on, don't do this. <laughs> no, come on. Reposted. Repost that nightling. Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh my god, that is not a good start, is it? These fucking nightlings are horrible. They're attacking the muffalo. Muffalo, that's what they're called, not muffalope. Um, wow. Take it out. Why can't we finish it off? Uh, there we go. Finish off Nightling. That's better. Well, I guess we've got some food now. My god, that's horrible. Um, please, for the love of god, quickly, quickly, quickly. We have no medicine. I mean, we could try and get some heal root, but obviously by the time we got that, he'll probably die. Might be worth just harvesting some in case he gets an infection. Just to help with that infection, 10 chance. Right, prioritize tending. My god. Well, that's a fantastic start. Almost dying to a, a, a horrifying... No oh, wow, the muffalo actually killed it. That's great news. If you could kill more of those. In fact, I'm going to go finish that off. Um, let's mark that for finish off as well. If we can kill these things off early game, hopefully no more spawning. Because basically, the way Rimmel works, there's a limit to the amount of animals that can be on a map. If it's hit that limit, or if there's a map condition like heat wave, uh, fallout, anything like that, new animals won't spawn. So if we could kill these four off, we might get something like, you know, something friendly like chickens or more muffalo spawning instead of, of horrific predators. Right, let's put the speed up just while he patches himself up a little bit. We're going to be okay. Death in 13 hours. What's the quality on these? Uh, this is why starting with high medical has actually benefited us massively. 6.73. Because he's a fast learner. Is this going to go up like... Actually, it goes up pretty fast. It's not huge. But obviously, if this happens a fair amount, then uh, we don't want it to happen a fair amount. But his medical is going to be quite hefty by the time we probably get a second colonist. All right. Melee attack that together. He needs to go drink water. Um, can we finish this one off first? Just so it doesn't heal and get back up. There you go. Go and get yourself some water. I feel like I made a mistake being this far away. So I think building a well as soon as possible would definitely help out a lot. So that's 25 wood. Is water more important than shelter? Uh, yeah, obviously it is. So we're going to get that done first. If he has to sleep outside for a couple of days, I don't really care. Cloud watching. Great. Okay. <laughs> uh, excuse me, my friend. I need you to work all day. I know that you've almost just been killed on the first day here. Within the first few hours. But well... Kind of comes before cloud watching. I'm no survival expert, but I would definitely... Oh, God. What's a colossal aero fleet? I don't care about that one. Um, 
We can't even see it. Now, from what I remember, that's added by the Alpha Animals mod, and it's just like a giant cloud. They're passive and don't do anything, so we don't need to worry too much about that. My worry is he's going to be attacked in the night again by another one of these guys. Oh, it's taking him hours. Oh my god, this is horrible. Um, well, there's another Muffalo being killed there by another one of these Nightlings. Well, they might do a little bit of hunting for us. Can we tame them? Dare I ask. What's our animals? 3.16. I imagine they've also got a massive chance of... 100% chance to attack when harmed from rifle range. Okay, let's not do that. Wait, did I tame it? Or, um... Nightlings may attack... Oh, because it's only 1.8% chance of them attacking on failed tame attempt, which is quite generous. We've got some ground runners just turned up. Are they predatory? Vegetable, raw meat, corpses, seeds. Okay, they're omnivores. Fantastic. Well, fingers crossed those two aren't going to hunt Jilt Vondel. He's had a bad enough day as it is. He's only been here five minutes. Oh, good. I just wanted fresh water. <laughs> just wanted fresh water. I'm going to allow all things just in case he does happen to come down from this. At least we've got that psychic soothe. Without that, we'd have been seriously doomed. How else could I have done this one any different, my guy? Players Randy Random, they said. That'll be fun. First night, we're almost ripped apart by a goddamn wolf. Are you okay? Need defenses. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's very helpful to let me know as our only colonist runs around for hours on end. You watch. He'll collapse due to extreme exhaustion and then he'll be hunted. And that'll be the end of this campaign. I mean, I don't know how I could have done this any different. I guess. So first thing we do, build a bed, build a well. Do absolutely nothing else. Maybe land closer to water so that we don't have to build the well to start off with. I feel like we're doomed if we just place any characters below like, below like what, five construction? Although he has learned very, very quickly. And again, you've got to bear in mind, because of the fast learner trait, and if he's building fairly complex stuff, he's just going to fall unconscious, isn't he, in a second? Which is fine. That's okay. How does he get dehydration moderate from walking around for a day? Oh, okay. You know what? In hindsight, I just answer my own question with that one, huh? Just collapse already. Come on. My dude, how is it you can stay awake from hours on end when we don't want you to do anything but sleep, yet when we want you to work? The Nightling killed a wolf, which is kind of worrying, because Timberwolves are already fairly... Aggro in the base game, aren't they? So, the fact that they've just killed that without so much as... There we go. Okay. Colonist needs rescue. He's just got life-threatening malnutrition. He's dead. This is this is another cursed one. Should we should we just quit now? Or should we... I, I've got to watch him die. It's hard, The whole part of this playthrough is to watch him die. Jilt the second. Goodbye, my friend. It's been nice knowing you. He lasted a whopping... We'll check it just before we... Uh, a whopping three days. I think that's generous. I think that's a very generous amount of time. I think he lasted all of about a few hours. And he's gone. Great. <sighs> so annoyed by that. Right. Round three. Here we go. Jump the third. These things, they just happen, you know? These things, they just happen. All right. I'm just going to carry straight on. There's no breaks, no pauses. Let's just dive straight into it. I'm going to go Randy Ruff again because I feel like we didn't give it a fair shot this time around. Right. Random my seed. Here we go. Boom. Emma, you will do. Oh, I generated a world side of 30%. Wow. No, I, it really makes no difference to the difficulty. I suppose it does make it somewhat easier in that we might be able to find a much better spawn point. The only reason I make it smaller is so that we have, we're have we more likely to get faction interactions. So we've got a large river there running past quite a few mountains, past quite a few rivers. The The dream scenario would be like river, mountain, road. Uh, Man, I thought we, we got very close to getting some there. Again, it doesn't really matter as long as we've got river, mountain. I think that's sort of the main... Combo things I want here. Playing by the ocean was also a terrible plan in hindsight because that obviously really, really screwed us in terms of fresh water. That was way... Oh, you know what? This is pretty good. What if we go for like here? Mountainous caves. Oh, don't do this to me. What about this one? Large hills, river. Um, That's a little bit too deep into the mountain range for my liking. All right. What about something like this? I'm not playing on caves. We c we're not dealing with infestation rather than everything else. Boreal forest, 20 days of growing. That's a little too risky for my liking, right? We'll try somewhere a little bit more down the south coast. Um, there's not really many river mountains. I can understand why there's not many, but my god. Um, what about something like this? Okay, 30 out of 60 days. Again, it's quite far into the mountain, but we've only got to climb over one large hills. Uh, average temperature is 11.4 degrees, so it's fairly cold. It's temperate forest. That's my favorite spot right now, unless we can find... Oh, what about something like this, though? What about something like this? It's got caves. I'll oh, get out of here with that. Thing is, it's got coves and a river. Which is why I'm trying to go for something like this. Um, it's got caves. Shall I just embrace the cave life? Let's do it. 60 days, 12.2 temperature, west coast caves and mountains. Hugely defensible. Fingers crossed this one goes a little bit better. I apologize for that first one, but my god, I'm not really sure what else I could have done in that one. Right, okay, here we go. Boom. Incapable of intellectual crafting. That is a doomed start. Intellectual and crafting. I mean, what could we not do if we, if we can't craft, we can't make clothes, we can't make a weapon... 
So we'd have to club someone to death with a club in the raid. Again, this is part of the difficulty. So I am rolling with it. Right. Misandrous Perfectionist. So he hates women. And he's also got a much slower work speed on everything. Uh, but you know what? Uh, oh, global work speed minus 20%. Also very cursed. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to actually spend a few more. How much points have we got left? 608. So to make up for this character being so shitty, they've actually given us generously some points to play with here. And my god, am I going to embrace it? We're going to go for a lot of shooting with this dude. Well, not a lot. Oh my god, that's almost half our points gone already. Um, I want a little bit of plants and a little bit of cooking. I'm just going to round him off here. Um, medical is okay. Cooking's good. Shooting's good. What else would I go for? Maybe a couple more points in construction. Then we'll leave it there. I don't know. Should we go for the points limit? Because the last character was way below, way above the points limit. And he was terrible. Uh, starting calling some resources that were randomly generated. Oh, so it's to do with the resources. But we didn't have any last time, you liar. Okay. Um, I guess it's because he's incapable of two different things. That's what, you know, determines it a little bit more. So maybe actually playing the incapables into part of the campaign might be a little more beneficial. Um, sorry, I'm trying to just make sure this is... I'll go a few more... If we go up to level 8 plants, that gives us more or less everything, doesn't it? Oh, couple of points in social for recruitment. Oh, shit. Um, you know what? I'd rather talk to people than plants. We're going to lower that down. Couple more points in social. Okay, that's what we're going for. I think that's okay. I think that's a, that's a good character. It's probably the best character. Nobody can craft or do drugs. That's fine. No, well, not do drugs, but, you know, make, make drugs. That's okay. I'll accept this one. Horrible, but I'll accept it. All right, round two. Round three. I've got to rename to Jilk 3. That's, that's one thing I always forget doing this. I should probably save him without a name so I remember to do it more. All right, this is already looking nice. Just judging by the size of this mountain, we've got a little river there. We've got some, uh, some geothermal power. All right, you are going to be called Jilp number three. Welcome, Jilp the third. Okay, again, let's start off with this scouting. Scouting is fairly important. Um, do not do it on speed four, though, because that's very quickly going to get out of hand. Oh, that's an ancient danger if I've ever seen it. Yep. Okay. Um, not a problem. Honestly, really not a problem. Oh, this is a nice map, huh? Now, we've got caves on this one. So, be careful that we don't stumble onto a nest. Oh, God. Um, okay, so the map looks like it's fairly cleanly cut in half as well. Oh, my God. Please, mountains. I was going to say, please, mountains go all the way to the edge of the map, but no such luck there. Okay, fair enough. Um, we've got what appear to be... Right. Oh, no, I was going to say rhino. Clearly not a rhino in hindsight. Okay, so we've got... Oh, man, this map is a lot less defensible. I think we threw away a golden map last time. I hate being in caves. I think this is a horrible idea. But it may have just given us a gold mine. This could be huge if this isn't connected up to the other spots. Oh, okay, it's not bad. It's actually genuinely not bad at all. We need to be near that river, though, ideally, don't we? So we may... Although this looks fairly well defensible. Oh, there's a cave. All right, let's run through the cave. He actually knows the way through. Okay, there we go. I do like this area. I like this because it's quite close to a cave. If we cross the river and it's it's kind of a bit more mountainous, we're going to roll with this. Okay, we need to... On the first day, I think a little less scouting actually might be a good idea, but I, I want to make sure that we're getting the best start possible. Oh, God, please don't tell me this is all open. Yeah, this is horrible to defend. That last map was a gold mine of a, of a drop site, and this one is not so much. Okay, um, the plan then. I think we're going to go live near the Ancient Danger. As, as weird as that sounds. Oh, God, this is all open. Yeah, this is a garbage map. <laughs> <laughs> this is an absolute garbage map. It's, it's way too open. I do like that it's kind of cut off a bit more up here. So we're going to go live by the ancient danger just so that we're back to the sea and kind of close to a river. Right, it's already one o'clock. So just a little bit more. See what we've got around here. Okay, this is all right. This is all right. Okay. So let's sort of start around this area then. Why not? A little more defensible from the sea. We can see enemies coming from quite well. We'll see them crossing the river. And this area is quite nice to cut off as well. They have to go through a cave. They have to go through two caves to get to this area from the north side of the map. Geothermal generators. Well, we've got one just about there. You know what? I'm going over here. Change of mind. We're going over here just because there's two geothermal generators again. I'm, I'm trying to future-proof, and that's probably a horrible idea. Right. Okay. First things first. I've learned. You know what? We don't need the well. We've got a river. We don't need the well. We've got a river. That's fine. So let's quickly start chopping as much wood as possible. Set the jobs before we really dive in here. I've got a good feeling about this one, you know? Mainly because this is the first character we've actually put some points of customization into. Um, handling, training, not interesting. Butcher, cooking is obviously high tier. Get rid of these. Deconstruct, construct definitely comes after butcher and cooking. Um, harvesting, growing, same sort of scenario. 
Mining, I'm going to put two points into. Drilling is irrelevant. Plant cutting should be number one. And we'll just clear off all of these besides haul. Just in case we ever need to haul urgently. That's the reason I'm doing that. Obviously, we're not going to run out of jobs to the extent that he's going to be hauling things. But if we ever need to haul things into a stockpile, like, I don't know, uh, things that we hunt is, is going to be a big one with that. Right, it's going to go wash himself. Got access to fresh water, which is obviously huge. That's that's the big one here. Kind of wish you guys hadn't told me about this dub stuff. In Jill. <laughs> Jill, number three. Do not ask me what happened to jump one or two, because if you start arguing, you're going to find out, my guy. Okay. Right, let's put up speed three now. Fairly confident. We'll say speed four, like I said, is going to be just almost exclusively for nighttime, so don't worry about that if you're not a fan of that mod. So we actually got some water there. I think living by the river is, is actually kind of essential at this point. Finding any map with a river is essential, because we waste so much time on the first day scouting. I don't want to have to build a well as well, just to ensure his survival. If you want to go ice... I think ice sheet with this would be the ultimate reward challenge, wouldn't it? I don't think I'm brave enough to try that, though. I think that would just be, you know, slamming my head against a wall Dark Souls style, except unlike Dark Souls. You know, you don't really get a sense of accomplishment over just watching you guys die repeatedly and then having to start again, huh? Right, let's go for wooden bed. That's essential. That I think a bedroom, beyond everything else. Could we even put up a couple of walls? Are we going to have time for this? Oh my god, I'm going to try. Um, let's just do something like that. Just a tiny little sort of shack. It's not much, but, it, but, it's, but it's his, god damn it. All right, so let's put a door there. Um, we can put a door right there leading straight up to the river so we can just drink the second he wakes up. That's a little too meta. Alright. That's, that's like, uh, a little bit too extreme even for me. Alright, let's get some walls up. You know, we might actually just be able to get a brief shelter down. I might stay, force him to stay awake a bit longer than his bedtime. I know, sinful to get jump number three to stay awake here. But if we can get a whole shelter done, unhappy nudity, yeah, you don't say. Oh my god, we're actually gonna get it. Okay, get that door finished as well. Just having some points of construction, you know what, this has changed the game. Look at that. A house. An actual house. That's that's 10 out. Oh, for the love of God. You could have... My dude, is it that much work? What's he doing now? He's washing himself and then he's going to get go to bed? Alright. First day, we've got a house and fresh water. This is already... We've already made way more progress in the, sh in the space of about two minutes than we have in the entirety of that first start in playthrough. That's crazy. Alright. Good luck, Jilp. Let's put the speed up a little bit. Now, do we need to do anything else with that? I'm going to give him a couple of hours of wreck. Or we'll just give him an, an hour of wreck when he wakes up and an hour when he goes to sleep. Just to keep his mood consistently high. Oh, my God. Hypothermia is shivering. Unroofed? What do you mean, unroofed? Well, it's pretty... Oh, did he just not finish building it? You absolute fool. So, he's been shivering all night because he didn't bother building the roof on his house. I hate you. I hate... I, my, I've never hated a man more. Now, what we could do is actually also use this generator to our advantage. Connect it into a main room. So, actually build just like a gigantic room attached to this. Probably going to do it, to be honest with you. Just because it lacked his heating. And this is quite a cold map. And this might be a massive, massive waste of resources. But this can be our kitchen, recreation area, everything. We could build a vent through to in the bedroom. And this hopefully this vent will be enough to uh, provide some heating without having to worry about things too much. Now, getting wood. You know what? I'm going to grow some crops before we actually build the world's most useless, gigantic room. Well, it'll be useful eventually. But, you know, it's kind of not as important, I would say, as growing crops to start off with. So, let's start with some rice. If we've got enough time, we'll put down some corn as well. But I'm going to forbid that one until he's actually finished the uh, the first one here. Right. Let's also just go ahead and quickly forbid all of these walls. We've got bigger fish to start off with, Jill Boosh. One of you pointed out as well. I think it was uh, someone on Discord told me that apparently... If, I didn't know this as well, if trees are within one block of a grown zone, they'll automatically chop them down. I had no idea. So a couple of episodes ago, I was, you know, shouting at this dude for chopping down trees when he should be planting crops. <sighs> We've already got to this point already, have we? Well, it's better than, I guess, him wandering around aimlessly. I love that it shows the damage he's doing to the walls. This doesn't matter. As long as he doesn't destroy a wall, I really couldn't care less. Why is he so mad? Badly malnourished. Oh, well, of course, he's got no food. I'm actually really dumb. <laughs> it's so weird not starting with meals. I need to get this into my goddamn stupid head. All right. Um, I guess we'll just put down a butcher spot and just eat some raw meat. Um, okay. Let's just quickly blitz through. There we go. Okay. You need to get some food, my dude. Very, very quickly. Right. Equip wood. No, no. Sorry. You're not going to sleep until we've got some actual animal flesh in your lovely little tum. Okay. Go and club that alpaca. He was actually not down then for a second. Ma actually fight the alpaca, my guy. If he dies to an alpaca, I'm going to be livid. I'm going to be rethink. I'm going to be rethinking this series. Okay. Finish off alpaca. Haul the alpaca. Consume the alpaca. No, no, no. Haul. Oh, shit. No, we actually need to put down a stockpile. Okay. <laughs> that was close. 
I will admit, that was close to almost... Oh, hang on. Stop pause then. That was almost close to being uh, round two of failure then. All right, let's go. Priority, uh, critical, I guess. Allow all. Don't allow rotten, though. I don't know why we would ever... I don't know why that's default. It really makes no sense. For dumping stop pause then. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, haul the alpaca. Consume the alpaca. You know what? Raw meat is better than, uh, I guess, eating the corpse of it. So let's do do forever. I'm sorry, my guy. You're going to have to wake up and uh, butcher yourself some, some alpaca here. What's he doing? Why are you cleaning the room when we've got alpaca to eat, my guy? All right. Have yourself some nice raw flesh. We've got mad hair. Dinner's coming to us. Jilp. Jilp, everything is... Okay, do not die to this hair. Oh, my God, I didn't patch him up. Do not die to this hair. Okay, we're fine. Again, more dinner. That's fantastic news. Um, do you want to actually, like... Self-10 disabled. Sorry, it's kind of... I'm confusing the last character with this one. It's kind of understandable, considering we barely caught past the first night there. It's not going to die. It's just a bunch of bruises. Don't worry about it. Bruises, bruises, bruises. One bite that he's quickly patched up. He's going to be fine. He might not be fine. Some of these 10 qualities have been awful. And then we'll quickly... Um, hold the hair. He's going to wash himself. He's fine. That was... That was real high tension then for a second. I thought we were going to lose him again. I th when he saw that he was knocked down by the alpaca, I thought that that was it. I thought that someone had got it in for us. It's randy random. Uh, spoilers. Right. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do, quickly restructure this. So deconstruct and construct and repair, I guess. Because now we need to actually fix the walls in his goddamn shack. Uh, above. Or, or harvesting and growing is above that. I think that's a much better setup. So that way we can more or less leave it on autopilot here for a while. And uh, Oh, by the way, with the map in images, I was going to do it. Every time, every time a character died. But seeing as the last character died with only building a bed, and as our first character died after building a shack, haven't really bothered with it too much, right? So we're going to turn off bed rest as well, or at least lower the tier, uh, so that if he hasn't got another job, then he's welcome to do it. Right, okay. Let's... I was going to say, is it worth putting down... Hello? <laughs> oh my god, look at that thing. Wild pod. Are they dangerous? Vegetable seeds, live plants, meals, processed foods, liquor, and kibble. Fine. That's absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with that. Welcome to the club. So is Jolt Bush at this stage, although I suppose he did eat a raw hair. Now we've got some rice down. That's great, because obviously rice is the fastest growing and actually one of the most nutritional crops. Unfortunately, it requires the most work. So I don't want to be growing rice forever when we've got a lot of other stuff to do as well. Unhappy nudity? I mean, our guy can't craft. So we're going to have to wait for a raid to come up and club them and wear their clothes. Now we can build a washing machine. Why did I open my mouth? Well, I guess we're going to find out whether or not this character dies now. Or whether or not we will be picking this up next episode. Okay. Um. Squirrel. Come on. Come on. They're beginning their assault. Come on. Let's see what you've got. Nobody can fight Jill. He does have a pretty decent melee stat, which I actually didn't notice. Oh my god, I gave him crafting, and he, uh, I gave him shooting, and we can't. he can't craft. So they don't turn up with guns. Or maybe let's hope they do, so we can steal their guns. Um, it's too quiet. What the? Did they give up? <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh my god, another... What happened? What, were they like killed by... <laughs> what happened there? Were they killed by animals or something? We might as well let them come to us, honestly. You know what, my guy? Just, just get some bed rest. Just get some bread. Honestly, I'm just going to say, get some bed rest. When they turn up, open your foot... Oh, shit. I keep forgetting we don't have vision when we're indoors. Okay. Good luck. Don't wipe that fucking smile off of your face. You can get that smile out of here. I hate this game so much. Why did I agree to this fucking series? You get that smile off of your face. Don't get out, Jill. The man's had enough. <laughs> We haven't even got vision on it being kidnapped. Oh my god, why did I agree to this? Well, not, what a sad sight that is. Well, thank you for watching. It's been a bad day for Jilp. It's been a bad day for Jilp Bondle. He lost his shack. And now he's been taken off into slavery, I assume. Or maybe worse, expelled. That was terrible. Thank you all for watching. Everyone is dead or gone. The story is over. 10 out of 10. Thank you to the patrons who have made this horrific, torturous series possible.
Thank you. What, do I really want to say thank you for this one? Thank you to Harik, Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Banyal, Sedini, Conspiracy, Croesus, Escape, Facunda Vasquez, Haydog, Jimbo, Josh Lindine Tesla, Loris, Michael Mullen, Necrofilm, Pelvis Presley, Sean Thornton, Tom Terror 18, Vacuous Backers, Wolfsen, Zazzy7011, for their support, the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thanks, I think. This series is actually going to kill me early. I'm telling you now. I'm, I'm going to be in early grave by the time this series is done. Thank you as well to Gray, Nathaniel Lindberg, Llewellyn Thomas, Arakira, Asaro, Betamus Max, Chris, Crazy Pat, Don, Don Honey 2 and 7, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Haji Dumar, Hancock, Harry McGowan, Icy the Great, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Joran DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plock, Nathan Flores, Nick, Panther Pearl, Peter, Surthal the Swede, Wolfie, Zico, Adam Person, Sudini, Fraser Brennan, Noah Gallimore, and the Insane Pickle for also contributing to my blood pressure skyrocketing rocketing through the roof. I can't even speak anymore. It's, it's the stress. They call it the stress vapors. Fantastic.